Archibald, I'm from the University of Queensland and I've just released some research on urban restoration with some colleagues that I thought that I would share with you today. We explored how bird species with varying sensitivities to the challenges of living in urban areas interact with two common restoration actions, revegetation and weed control. To conserve urban bird diversity, habitat restoration is often implemented by local councils, environmental consultancies and non-government organisations. These agencies prom promoting conservation in cities often cite increasing biodiversity as a common goal when implementing habitat restoration. This goal is vague at best and clearly some species can be viewed as more valuable conservation targets than others. In Brisbane, increasing populations of common birds like noisy miners and magpies probably isn't synonymous with increasing small songbirds like fairy wrens and silver eyes. It's important to identify how individual bird species and groups of birds are interacting with common habitat restoration actions to ensure that these efforts are promoting the species which we care about and we want to inhabit our urban parks. We surveyed birds in local council owned restoration sites maintained by community members through revegetation and weed control in Brisbane, Australia. We then applied a hierarchical community model to estimate the response of urban exploitative, adaptable and sensitive bird species to these management actions. This allowed us to create a probability curve of individual and species group responses to urban restoration. Providing probabilities of success for individual species and species groups expands the information available to land managers. Contrary to the belief that all restoration activities will have a positive impact on bird diversity, we found that birds most reliant on nature in cities seemed not to benefit in patches that had been controlled for weeds, while birds that do exploit the urban environment did benefit. These shifts in diversity could be a product of the removal of the shrubby understory that's needed by urban sensitive bird species to persist. Or it could be an effect of territorial species such as the noisy miner infiltrating and displacing birds in these areas. This could have serious impacts for urban bird diversity which may have flow on implications to the way that cities experience and relate to nature. <laughs> Let's go take a look at some restoration on campus. restoration sites that we have on campus. This restoration site was established by the Society of Conservation Biology, UQ chapter, and they paid special attention on making sure that these areas would be suitable and kind of more ideal for urban sensitive bird species. So to do that, they've established bird transects along the river and along one of the other restoration sites that I'll take you to now, just to make sure that some of these urban sensitive species that they're targeting are actually coming back into these areas. And since they have paid a lot of attention to making sure the mid-story has been planted out with, I guess, native plants to this area, they have actually noticed um, recolonization of some urban sensitive bird species like scarlet honey eater and some of the fairy wrens that we haven't seen along this area for a long time. They're starting to come back and, and use this area again, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, really great effort by the Society of Conservation Biology on this, in, within this area on campus. So I'm going to take you to the other restoration site now, which they've particularly planted out with a lot of mid-story and understory plants to attract um, red back fairy wren into the area. Because we have them a little bit further along the river, but we haven't had them on campus for a long time, so we're trying to get them to come onto campus. This is the other restoration site that I was just telling you about. It's doing really well. It's been planted for about a year or a little bit over a year. Um, this site's really important to try and encourage understory skulking uh, bird species back into the area. You might be able to hear above me there's some noisy miners calling. We have a really bad noisy miner problem on campus. So hopefully more plantings like this will be really good for kind of excluding noisy miners out of this area, but also um, allowing more of an opportunity for urban sensitive species to come back and recolonize. Oh, 
There's some mangrove jerigony calling, which is really awesome because they're an urban sensitive species. Um, just along the river, just down there. So if you want to access this publication, it's free to download. It's published open access through Ecology and Evolution. I'll pop the links down below in whatever platform that I'm posting this to. So yeah, free to read, free to download, free to reference, whatever you want to do, it's there. So just follow that link. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Carla Archibald. I'm from the Center for Biodiversity and Conservation Science at the University of Queensland. If you want to keep updated with any of the work that we do at our center, I'll also pop the links um, to our center down below. Thank you. Bye.